Hi folks, it's Max from um, <clears throat> GalaxyNote2Root.com. Today I'm going to show you how to update uh, to the latest um, LJC update. You should have, a, if you have a stock ROM and uh, you have VPA LJ1, um, you can wait for the LJC which is being uh, pushed out right now or you can update it manually um, to get the multi-window update. Uh, so let's go ahead and do it. Very easy to do. Uh, first, if you're on a custom ROM, go back to your stock ROM. Hopefully you made a backup. Uh, if you didn't make a backup, you can un follow the un instructions on my site, galaxynote2root.com. Check the FAQ there. Um, okay, once you get back to stock ROM, uh, make sure you reinstall the stock recovery, which also I have on my site. Check the FAQ, galaxynote2root.com. And then you're going to go ahead and download this file. Uh, update file I have up at uh, stockroms.net. So go to stockroms. Um, just type stockroms on Google, and you'll probably find stockroms.net. So go to stockroms.net. Here you're gonna go to um, go find Galaxy Note 2. Click on the Galaxy Note 2, and then go to SPHL 900. That's the Sprint Galaxy Note 2. And here you'll find the SPHL900 LJ1 to LJC. This is the update you need. And this will get you um, updated to the latest LJC firmware, which has a multi window, supposedly has one. And this will download the stock update, uh, which shouldn't take too long. It's only like, I think, 20 megabytes. Um, yeah, so it should take not that long there. Go ahead and download it, and then we're going to reboot into stock recovery. Um, again, you have to have your stock recovery installed. If you don't, go install it. It's on my site. I just posted it today, actually, as of date of this video. All right, it's download complete. Oh, also, you'll need a uh, micro SD card inserted. Sorry, I didn't tell you that. Um, make sure the file downloaded to your micro SD card. If you have it inserted, it mo most likely download it to the download folder. Make sure it's in extension SD card download folder, just like that. And uh, make sure if you're using um, the app to SD hack, then it's going to be the opposite. So make sure it's in there, or you can just copy it in both direct, uh, both external and micro SD card, both micro SD card and the internal. If you feel paranoid, so go ahead and power it off, power your phone off, and then we're going to get into the stock recovery here. So go ahead and um, when your power, phone powers off, sorry it's getting late, I shouldn't be making this video. Uh, go ahead and hold the volume up and center, home and the power, and then uh, wait a second, and when the logo shows up, keep holding down volume up and the center, home button, alright, and you'll come to start recovery. Now if you see clock room my recovery, you didn't reinstall start recovery, um, go ahead and do that. And here you're going to go to... Um, apply update from external storage hit the power button and go find the file I put, uh, it's downloaded to my download folder so I'm gonna go all the way down to my download folder down here and then I'm gonna choose the SPHL 900 LJ1 to LJC.zip and this will install the update um, also you have to be totally stock if you removed any apps uh, stock apps using titanium a backup app it might not work so if you did that then you're out of luck but um, if you made a backup just just after you root it just like I told you then you should be all good to go uh, that's why I tell people to make a backup ROM right after you root that way you always have a copy you can go back to and you can take these updates uh, if you want to but no worries you don't have to do this if you're on a custom ROM just wait a, like a day or two the ROM developers they'll update their ROM with the multi window. It's not a huge deal, so just wait around for that. I would just wait around. Um, but if you're an impatient uh, flashaholic too high on Android, of course you can do this. And uh, actually, you can do all of this on your phone. If you made a backup of your uh, stock ROM, all you have to do is go boot into Twerp, uh, restore your backup ROM, and then uh, you know the zip file for stock recovery you can also download on your phone install it in clock for my recovery download this do the update boom so you actually didn't even need a computer to do this uh, even if you're rooted on a custom ROM so long you had a, a backup ROM 
Um, and also you can do it, um, you can unroot back to start if you didn't make a backup. Uh, if you, you can use Mobile Odin Pro, which all you, you can all do it on your phone also. So, um, it's almost done. And I'll be back when this is done. Alright, it's done and it's rebooting. And uh, we should have a uh, multi-window on my Sprint Galaxy Note 2. Um, I'll walk you through real quick for those of you who don't know how to use it. It's really easy to use. All you have to do is uh, hold down the back button and uh, you'll be able to have a multi-window and also there's actually a hack for the international version already that you can use any of the apps um, that should be you know on the sprint also probably coming this week so check back for that and I'll post it on my site galaxynote2root.com um, I'll be back when this is done rebooting hi right, folks so it is done and the moment of truth uh, let's try holding down the back button and boom! Yay, we got it. So we got the uh, multi view here. Uh, everybody's happy. Now we can all hug each other. Um, to use this, go ahead and drag uh, your. Oh, let me try a different app. Uh, go ahead and drag whatever you want. And also, you can go like this. Go like this. And also, this button lets you switch between the two. And also, you can go sideways. And if you want to get rid of the tap, hold down the back button. All right. And if you want to see it again, uh, hold the uh, button down. And also, you can move this tab to the top, uh, to the right, you know, anywhere you want. So this is awesome, awesome. And currently, these apps are supported, um, you know, YouTube, uh, the default browser. But you can get by this with the hack. Um, it should be up later this week. So check back. And now you can get rid of that. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, and uh, what else does it come with? Oh, I, I, I wrote it on my site yesterday. Oh, yeah, it's right here. Uh, this is the PALJC LJC update. Um, this basically gives you the multi window feature. Um, text message notification will beep while in voice call. And also, emails go to Outbox in no coverage area, airplane mode. And also GPX lock setting can be defaulted by corporate device administrators. So that's kind of not useful. But but the main one is uh, multi-window. That's pretty much it. And uh, you should be all good to go. Anyway, go enjoy your multi-view. And uh, in a couple days, well, probably like tomorrow, we should have a bunch of ROM updates with this in it. So uh, if you're on custom ROM, just wait. You know, Or if you're on, you can go back to stock ROM and do it like I did. But whatever. Anyway, thanks you guys. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button here, subscribe button up there, and share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And uh, next time, you know, your uh, iPhone friends ask you about, you know, the Note 2, or if they say it sucks or something, then you can you can show them this. Be like, can you do this on your phone? No. Anyway, stay high on Android. And if you have a Galaxy Note 2, don't forget to sign up for my email list at rootgal. Uh, no, sorry. Galaxy Note 2 root.com. Uh, we update you once a week with Rum of the Week tips. Have some more. And also, it's a great way if you get in contact with me and others if you have trouble with your phone. And uh, uh, I think that's it. So, I'm trying to move this tab. There we go. That's how I like it. And you can get rid of it by holding down the back button. Anyway, see y'all later. Uh, stay high on Android. I gotta go rest.